For today, I'd like to teach you about high blood pressure or hypertension. High blood pressure is very common. It occurs in 25% of adults. It can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and kidney failure, and we don't want that. Fortunately, high blood pressure is easy to diagnose and to treat. All you need is have somebody check your blood pressure using a blood pressure apparatus like so. There are also electronic types of BP apparatus which are fairly accurate. So how do you know if you have high blood pressure or not? If your blood pressure is 120 over 80 or a bit lower, that means that's normal. But if your blood pressure is 120 to 139, the systolic blood pressure, the first number, or your diastolic is 80 to 89, that means it's a little high, so we have to monitor it. If your blood pressure is higher than 140 systolic or 90 diastolic, that means it's quite high and you may need to institute lifestyle changes and maybe take medicines later on. And if your blood pressure is higher than 160 over 100, then that's quite high and you need to see your doctor soon. There are four effective lifestyle changes to reduce your blood pressure. Number one, you have to lower your salt intake. Eat less salt, less salty food. Exert an extra effort to lower your salt in intake. It can reduce your blood pressure maybe by 5 to 10 points. Second, you have to lose weight if you're overweight. If you lose 10 excess pounds, this can lower your blood pressure by around 5 to 10 points. Three, you have to exercise, walk more. Number four, try to eat less meat and more fruits and vegetables. There are four common medicines that doctors give for high blood pressure. It begins with the letter A, B, C, and D. A stands for ACE inhibitors such as your captopril. This is the generic kind. It's good for patients who are diabetic or those with heart failure. Unfortunately, in 5% of cases, patients may get cough. So if you get cough, we shift it to another drug. B is for beta blockers as exemplified by metoprolol. It's good for patients with angina, palpitation, or patients with heart disease. So this is quite okay. Letter C for calcium antagonists, we have amlodipine. It's a very powerful drug. It's good for patients with high blood pressure. But in a few patients, they may have leg swelling or edema. And D for diuretics, uh, we have hydrochlorothiazide, which we give to elderly patients. So in summary, uh, you can treat your high blood pressure with lifestyle changes. And later on, your doctor may give you medicines like so. And don't worry about these medicines. They're very effective and they can prolong your life by 7 to 10 years according to some studies. So do yourself a favor, get your BP checked today. And I do hope you take good care of yourself, for your family, and for you.